guys. So today I wanted to talk about something that I recently found out, I recently discovered about myself. Um, I've talked about this before, basically me kind of having a lot of anxiety and stuff about, you know, life after high school and post-secondary and all that good stuff. So <laughs> I was looking on the internet and I was actually watching Dan is Not On Fire's video about existential crisis and I found out that there's another thing called a quarter life crisis or a midlife crisis. Yes, it sounds dramatic, I know, but just hear me out here, okay? Basically, a quarter life crisis or a midlife crisis is when somebody who is in their early 20s or their mid 20s, such as myself, is freaking out pretty much about becoming an adult. When I started high school, the years kind of flew by. So grade eight, grade nine, 10, 11, and then we're into grade 12, we're into grad year. And I was always under the impression that I had to have everything planned out for myself when it came to what I was going to do next in my life. So after I graduated high school, what was I going to do? Was I going to attend post-secondary right away? Was I going to take a gap year? What was I going to do for, you know, work? What was I going to do to make an income? Uh, where was I going to live? What was I going to, you know, eat? Um, would I be away from friends and family? And all these questions just gave me so much anxiety and I understand that we need to think about these things, but they genuinely scared me. And they somewhat still do. And honestly, you guys, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I graduated high school, and I still don't know what I want to do. Like, I just, I don't know. A bunch of my classmates went off to post-secondary. That's their choice, good for them. Whatever makes them happy and makes them feel comfortable. I didn't choose that route. I chose to take a gap year because I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do with myself, and I still don't know what I want to do. I'm pretty much just living life one day at a time. That's what I'm doing right now. As far as living situations and things like that go, you might call me a baby for this, but I'm like freaked out to leave my parents' house and yes, I should open up a little bit more and I should explore my surroundings more and you know, find my own place eventually because then I have I have a space of my own, right? And I mean, at this point in time, I'm 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 nervous about it, like, what if I mess something up, what if I, you know, what if a roommate flakes out on me last minute, or something like that happens, I just, ah, uh, my brain is dying slowly. <laughs> now, anxiety doesn't make this any better, so that's been a bit of a challenge. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I have really bad days, but that anxiety, and that, that worry, and that, um, unsureness it's always there like I might not be you know giving full attention to it but it's always lingering there and when something triggers it it's like I I have a mental breakdown like literal mental breakdown um, I might be over exaggerating but you know some people are far more independent and you know they want to go and see the world and others are more closed in and things like that and I just I am I'm trying my hardest to break out of my shell but so far the worries and the you know unsureness of it all it's it, it's freaking me out and it's kind of a battle with myself in a sense and my hip is cramping again oh god oh yeah so speaking of muscles cramping okay so I was at work the other day and I work as a customer service representative, so I'm standing at a desk a lot, and all of a sudden I had like this tidal wave of pain just rush through my entire body, like my mid back, like it shot across my shoulders, my hips, my lower back, my feet, everywhere, and it was so excruciating to the point where I was standing like this, gripping my hands so tight to make myself try and bear it while at work because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cry at work in front of, in front of customers and I mean, 
it was just so, so bizarre. I know it's totally off topic, but I just, I don't know why it happened. Um, it's something that happened and it sucks and I've been kind of wonky with my health lately. So I am seeking answers on Wednesday when I go to the doctor. So hopefully that, uh, that helps a little bit. Okay, stop cramping because standing is hurting me now. Stop. Anyways, sorry about whining you guys. I just wanted to talk to you about that. At the end of the day, that's what's happening with me right now. And some of you may not like these, you know, updatey, rambly, kind of, you know, more personal videos, but this is me and this is what I'm going through and um, this is my channel and this is what I'm posting. So that's, that's all for now. Uh, I'm going to go and edit this and sit down because my left leg is very very shot right now and it hurts a lot so um yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video um if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and uh i will see you guys next time with a brand new video